Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, my name is Xavier. I'm over here at Paranify. Excited for you guys to be here uh, to showcase our little Paranify demo, kind of a more overview of what we do here. Um, it's going to be really exciting. And I think the reason why we want to show you this, too, is how we help other organizations with their, all of their compliance documentation and automation for GovRAMP, CMMC, FISMA, FedRAMP, the whole nine yards, anything NIST 853 and, and 171 um, that's right in our wheelhouse. So we're going to hop in today and it's going to be awesome. Alrighty, everyone, this is Paramify. This is Paramify in all of its glory. And I'm going to walk you through the first couple steps of what we're going to do together. First thing we're going to do is go through an intake and you're going to get your custom set of risk solutions. And then from there, we're actually able to go and create a project, whether that is CMMC, FISMA, FedRAMP, everything I stated before. So that first thing, we're going to go through an intake session. This is where we're going to sit down for 60 minutes usually, and we're going to go through basically all the nouns of your organization, right? So the people, places, and things, all the components and capabilities you're currently using, your parties, your roles, any of those locations, and ultimately the types of data you're bringing in. And from there, that we kind of are getting a lay of the land to understand of how you solve for risk as an organization. And from that, we're going to get your custom set of risk solutions, right? This is something that's proprietary here to Paramify. This is how we were able to take our entire package and, and submit an ATO package in under three months for our FedRAMP high, which is pretty out of this world if you think about it. And the way we were able to do that is we weren't actually doing 724 individual things for security, which that's how many requirements are in a FedRAMP moderate package. We actually did around 200 things for security and that mapped in a mini to mini mapping across that. So really awesome stuff there. You're gonna get your own set when you come in. And then from there, we can create a project. So we'll dive in. I actually created a project for you all today. This is going to be your dashboarding within a FedRAMP moderate package. So this left side is gonna be your progress towards your paperwork. And this right side is actually a living and breathing gap assessment on what's uh, implemented, what's planned, what's not implemented, and ultimately what we have to go review. So within about two hours together, we actually see a lot of clients come out around 70 to 80% of the way done with their entire SSP. So we're getting you really to the into the red zone and then we have to give that tush push all the way through to kind of put you over the goal line. Um, so we'll hop in. This is that living, breathing dashboard. So now that we're here at that 90%, how do we get to that 100%? We're going to hop into our risk solutions. Instead of doing all those things, we're gonna do around 200 of them. From here, there's really easy workflows to be able to fill this out. You can actually assign out different risk solutions to different team members, right? So if you have a GRC team and you're not gonna to try to tackle all this, you can divvy them up. Also, you can assign them out by responsible role. So you can assign you know, the 15 risk solutions that are needed for, for HR to go in there and review. So easy workflows there. But let's hop into one of these because I kinda of wanna show you how it works. So this is one risk solution that is involving access agreements, right? From here, this actually maps to six different spots across your entire NIST 853 SSP. So you can see here, here's the different controls that it maps to. So if you were to change anything here on this side, it's actually going to map across those six different places. And what's really cool is, let's say you were to change HR provider. Usually you'd have to go control F and find all that within the paperwork, right? And it's really time consuming. Here you can change it in one spot and it'll map everywhere. So really cool features on that side. Once we take care of those risk solutions and we review all of them, we'll come back to our dashboard and you'll see that this would be hypothetically at 724 out of 724. And this is going to be at 100%, right? So now we're ready for the fun stuff. Let's go look at that documentation. So we'd come down here into our document robot, which I actually wanna show you before the different attachments that we're gonna produce for you. So it's gonna be appendix A all the way through S from FedRAMP, security controls, policies, procedures, CIS, CRM workbook, all the way even down to your user summary table. So with that being said, we'll come in here, we'll create your SSP. I already did this for you. And it's gonna come out in two different formats. So everything is gonna be human readable, which is gonna be your Excel and your Word, and then also machine readable. So everything is gonna be in OSCAL, which I'll show you that one first. Here's gonna be your entire SSP in OSCAL. I know it's my light bedtime reading because I live and breathe Paramify. Um, so from there, you'll be able to also see your Appendix A. So let's hop into that. You'll see here's the emblems in all the correct format that we were able to produce today. 
And then this is a digitized SSP. So now we can actually hop down here into AC2. You'll see the responsible roles, the implementation statuses, and you'll be able to see this is your security requirement. We print this inline for your auditor. So they don't have to scroll over to the top and all the way back down. And then you'll see this is the statements that help satisfy. So it does this all the way down for almost 600 pages, which still, I cannot believe people still manually write this and go down one by one. So that's what we're taking care of on the SSP side and, and that entire ATO package. And once you reach that hill, everybody thinks they're done. But for anybody who knows and has their ATO, that is right where the hard work begins with all of our manual POAMs, or pardon me, our monthly POAMs and CONMON. So that's something that we get to help with out uh, here at Paramify. One of the things we hear in the three pain points we hear from customers is, number one, what is really tough about managing POAMs and CONMON is just the swath of data that's coming in thousands of lines of volumes and poems that they have to manage. So being able to see this in a dashboard and a, in a snapshot of what's past due, what's due soon and what's open really helps satisfy that. And it'll also recognize duplicates month over month um, and be able to consolidate by CVEs and, and be able to uh, handle all of that information. So from here, we'll be able to come into each one of these poems and you'll be able to remediate these with our two-way JIRA integration, and you'll be able to handle closures, upload any evidence and artifacts um, to be able to handle that. And then from there, what's another big pain point is you do all this work in your sheets, and then you have to copy and paste it back into the FedRAMP format. Don't worry, we've already taken care of that for you. Just like we created the SSP, we do the exact same thing for the POAMs. So you go ahead and generate that documentation, and you'll see right here, this is something you're all familiar with. Here's your FedRAM plan of actions, milestones, any open poems, closed poems, configuration findings, and ultimately any records of change. So that's everything we're helping out with here at Paramify. And it only gets better and better the more and more that we have releases, right? Everything from issue management, SSP management, CONMON, that's where we're focused. Our whole goal here is to get security professionals doing real security work and staying out of the paperwork, right? Security is the goal, compliance is the outcome. So that's what we're, that's what we're striving towards here at Paramify. So if this sounds like, or if this resonates at all with any of you of what we're just showcasing here today and you think could add value, please feel free to reach out to us and yeah, we'll be able to rock on with Paramify. Thanks so much.